Hello, YouTube pipe community. Javier from Hobby Pipes coming to you from the front porch of Casa Morales in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, uh, sunny, warm ish, a little bit of a cool breeze, but that's okay. Some housekeeping uh, today I am smoking my new Meerschaum pipe that I got from uh, Wharf Valley Boys uh, International Pipe Smoking Day giveaway. It's beautiful. It smokes so smoothly, uh, so nicely. Tim, I really appreciate this. And in it, I am smoking one of his blends called Sardorian Mixup. Now, my palate is not developed enough yet to be able to tell you what's in it. But I can tell you this much. It's sweet. Not like aromatic sweet, natural sweet. Very pleasant. And hopefully I can keep it lit this whole time. Though knowing me, it'll go out. So. couple things I wanted to go through today. The timing of this pipe could not have been more perfect. Uh, March, Mirsham Madness. Day four. And I did a video on Yabo for this yesterday. And in it I said I was having a sad moment because I'd seen a crack develop uh, on my other Mirsham pipe. And no sooner did I finish that video, I let it cool off, went to clean it out. It snapped. Halfway down the shank, it snapped. So, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm going to see if it's even remotely fixable. I think there's enough of the shank left that if I could get a new insert and drill it in there properly, I might still be able to smoke it. But that's going to be a long shot. As my wife put it, it's something you used, it's bound to break if you use it. And that's what it's meant for, is to be used. So, okay. I'm not going to lose hope on it yet, but uh, outlook's not so good. The other reason for my video today is I wanted to do a VR to Briar Brandon. Brian Brandon, who, uh, uh, after some time away due to some family reasons, um, said in his absence he, he actually hit 100 subs, and I thought that was really cool. Um, I like his channel. Um, I'm glad to hear his niece is doing better. And I'm pretty sure I remember you mentioning that you and your wife are expecting your third child. And you just want to wait and be surprised as long as it's healthy. And uh, congratulations on that if it's already happened. And if not, our, my prayers are with you. Uh, may you have a happy, healthy child. Um, but for his giveaway, he had one question. Talk about a time you were surprised. Now... One of the most unusual surprises I ever had was um, we have a nice little hockey team here in Nashville, members of the NHL, the, the Predators. Um, it's, uh, I love going to their games. I love hockey. It's a great sport. And, uh, I grew up in Chicago, so sorry to all you that hate them, but I'm a lifelong Blackhawks fan. Don't hold it against me. Uh, it's just what I grew up with. Uh, watching Tony Esposito between the pipes uh, was always a huge thing to me. But uh, I like my Predators. You know, it's nice to see them in town. Well, about 12 years ago, my wife had gotten me tickets to the season opener. 
for the Predators. They happen to be playing that night, the Chicago Blackhawks. And it was funny because we go to the game and we're sitting there and the Predators do a thing called shirts off the back. Um, sometimes they do it at the beginning of the season. Sometimes they do it in the last day of the season. That year they happened to do it first game of the season. Well, what they do is everybody gets a slip of paper. They put their name, all their information on there. They give them to the ushers, and they start picking names. As many guys as there are on the roster. And after the game, you get to go down on the ice. And you have an envelope with a name in it, and they go in order that the names were selected. And whatever uh, jersey numbers inside that envelope, that's who's... That's whose jersey you get straight off the back. Now, the neat thing about it was they didn't go into the dressing room after the game. They actually just hung out on the ice uh, for this. So anyways, they picked a certain amount of names at different intervals. And uh, just before the... Uh, well, right around the beginning of the second intermission, they said, we're showing the last set of names. They'd done three, three waves of eight names each. And uh, <clears throat> they announced that they were throwing up the last eight names for the drawing. And I got up and started to walk away because I was like, I'm never going to get picked. There's 16,000 people here. I mean, my chances are slim to none. And my wife had made some comment uh, to me um, as I was walking away, and she wasn't even looking up at the scoreboard. And as I turned to answer her, something caught my attention. And I looked up there, there I was, the very last name. Talk about being surprised. They said, you got to come to... This table at this section of the stadium by this time or you lose your spot okay whatever it is she wanted I couldn't tell you to this day I would looked up there and said that that looks like my name and I said that and she looked up and she said uh, that's because that is your name so I was like okay ran over to my corner of the stadium I needed to go to and they said, with 10 minutes left in the game, come on down. So that was a huge surprise, but it didn't end with just that. When we got there, 10 minutes left in the game, they lined everybody up in order that the names were selected. And they said, here's your envelope. Don't look at it. Don't open it. And they took us down underneath to ice level. Said, when the game's over, we're going to walk out there. One at a time, people are going to open their envelopes. And that player will come over, take their jersey off, hand it to you, autograph it for you. And you get your picture taken with them. Well, I decided to be the funny man. Some people have no sense of humor. And I told her, I already know who I'm getting. And this girl freaked out. She goes, did you open your envelope? And I said, no, I, but I know who I'm getting. She goes, how do you know who you're getting? And I said, I'm the 24th name out of 24. When the guy before me opens his envelope, I'll know who I have. Because there's only one guy left. Well, we go out there. And uh, they start going through the names, you know. They're coming down the line. And um, I thought it was uh, kind of funny. At the time, we had a player named uh, Mary Jidlitsky. Um, he was a defender from the Czech Republic. I don't know. I just like the guy. He was... You know, you pick a guy on the team that you like, and that's who you follow. And, you know, a couple of years earlier, it's 
we'd been to a game, and, and I don't know why. I just liked the way he played. So that was my guy. And uh, they kept going down the list. And I kept looking around, and I go, huh, that's kind of funny. What if I got, what if I got a Jidlitsky jersey? That, that'd be hilarious. And as it came down the line, I realized he was still there. I was like, hmm. Four names left. Guy opens his envelope. He's still there. Three left. Guy opens his envelope. Still there. Two guys left. Number 23 opens his envelope, and I look. And he reads the number off, and I look straight across, and I go, I know who I have. Talk about double surprise. First, I got lucky enough to be one of 24 people out of 16,000 names turned in to get a jersey. And go figure. I got my favorite player's jersey that day. And it was absolutely hilarious to me. Uh, you know, came over, took it off, handed it to me, turned around, signed his name. Uh, within the number, I still have it. It's uh, being well kept uh, in the dark uh, in a closet because uh, yeah, I don't want it to fade or anything. Um, but that was a pretty huge surprise. And, uh, you know, of course, it was all wet and sweaty and stuff. But, you know, you're just like, wow, this is, this is incredible. Um, so that was, a, that was a pretty huge surprise for me, two, two for one, really. Anyways, um, that's that's my surprise story. Um, also, uh, you wanted a shout out, and, and I'd like to give two shout outs. Um, one to Tom Sawyer Piper. He's uh, newer uh, out here in the YTPC, and he's doing some good videos, and he's been doing some VRs for people, and uh, I, I really enjoy watching his videos. And the other one that I think people should check out, if you haven't already, is uh, Professor Jeremiah. Apparently, he's lived all over the world, and he's got some really interesting stories um, about different things. And I, I think it's really cool. Uh, so those were uh, those are my two shout-outs. And uh, Bri Brandon, uh, thank you so much for the giveaway uh, contest, putting that on for us. And uh, hope you and yours are all very well. And until next time, I'll see you all later.